Introduction Hi friends, we can see so many vehicles like bikes, cars, trains, etc. all are running around us. They don't eat any food like any living being do. Then how they get their energy? Yes, they get their energy from fuel. The fuel can either be coal or petroleum product. They provide energy for vehicles to move. In this module, we are going to learn more about these natural energy resources. Objectives At the end of this module, you'll be able to Define natural resources and its types Describe the coal and its other useful products Describe petroleum and its refining process List the various constituents of petroleum and their uses Describe the natural gas and its importance. Hey dear, what are you doing here? Hey, I am fond of seeing running trains on tracks. Some trains run very speedily while others not. But I observed so many times that some engines emit a lot of fume while others do not. Yeah, you are right because in some train engines the fuel source is coal and in others it is diesel. Now electric engines are frequently used all over the world. You know, resources are of two types, natural and man-made. Natural resources such as forests, air, water, soil, coal, petroleum and natural gas are directly obtained from nature. Natural resources can be broadly classified into two categories. Inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible resources. Inexhaustible natural resources are present in abundance, hence it is unlikely that it will be exhausted by any human activity. Sunlight and air are examples of such resources. On other side, the amount of exhaustible resources is limited and they can be exhausted by human activities and consumption. Forests, wildlife, coal, natural gas, petroleum, minerals, are the examples of these resources. Do you know that some exhaustible resources like coal, natural gas and petroleum were formed from the dead remains of living organisms called fossils and hence these are also known as fossil fuels. Hey, now let us know about these fossil fuels in details. Let us start with coal. You may have seen coal in your surrounding. It is hard and black in color. Coal is used for variety of purposes such as cooking food, running railway engines, thermal plants and various industries. After heating in air, it starts burning and produces carbon dioxide gas. You will be surprised to know that some useful byproducts of coal like coke, coal tar and coal gas are obtained directly from coal. Do you know how these byproducts are helpful for us? At first, let us know about coke. Coke is a tough, porous and black colored substance. In the manufacturing of steel and extraction of many metals, it is mainly used. Coal tar is a black, thick liquid with unpleasant smell. It is frequently used for manufacturing of synthetic dyes, perfumes, drugs, explosives, paints, plastics, paints, and photographic materials. To obtain coke from coal, coal gas is produced. In many industries located near coal plants, it is used as a fuel. Hey, now it's time to have some fun. Drag and drop the correct options to fill up the blanks. Friends, I know you all are fond of luxury cars and vehicles, but do you know on which fuel do they run on roads? Actually, most of these run on either petrol, diesel, or compressed natural gas, also known as CNG. Petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural resource called petroleum. Do you see that petroleum and natural gas deposits exists as a layer above the water layer? Now friends, we know that petroleum is a fuel source of our vehicles. But do you also know that this petroleum is a dark oily liquid and made up of various components such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, kerosene, 
paraffin wax, lubricating oil, and so on. All these components are separated by a process called as refining. This process is carried out in a petroleum refinery. Here is a table containing various constituents of petroleum and their uses. Now let's move on to our next exhaustible natural resource. This is natural gas, also known as compressed natural gas or CNG. It is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas, CNG. CNG is generally used for power generation, but due to less polluting, it is being used as a fuel for vehicles. It is also used for cooking purposes. Natural gas is also used as a base material for the manufacture of a number of chemicals and fertilizers. Friends, as we know that petrol and diesel are exhaustible resources, that is, the amount of them in nature is limited and will deplete one day. It is important to use these resources carefully while utilizing. Here are a few useful tips for us as advised by the Petroleum Conservation Research Association, PCRA. 1. We should switch off the engine at traffic lights or traffic jams. 2. Drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible. 3. We also should ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle and correct air pressure in tires. Summary Friends, let's summarize what we have learned so far. Natural resources can be broadly classified into inexhaustible and exhaustible resources. In nature, inexhaustible natural resources are present in unlimited quantity and are not likely to be exhausted by any human activity. Sunlight and air are the examples of such resources. The amount of exhaustible resources is limited and they can be exhausted by human activities. Forests, wildlife, coal, natural gas, petroleum, minerals are some of the examples of these resources. Coal, petroleum, and natural gas are known as fossil fuels. These are exhaustible resources. Coke, coal tar, and coal gas are all products of coal. Petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, kerosene, paraffin wax, lubricating oil are obtained by refining petroleum as byproducts. We should use coal, petroleum, and CNG judiciously.